Hey GED students, it's GED question of the daytime. And once again, we've been asked to solve an equation. And this looks pretty typical of the GED, although it's not quite as complex as you'll probably get, but typical because they like to freak you out with fractions. <laughs> Okie dokie. So that being said though, I want you to not freak out. Um, there's actually three different ways I can think of off the top of my head to deal with this fraction right away. So I'm just gonna model one of them. Um, but it's that idea that we're allowed to undo math. We also have our calculator to do the work here. Um, and so only one thing I've taught you so far about solving equations. Now we'll be learning more and more tricks uh, as we move on through our solving equations lessons. But the one trick I've taught you right now is we can always do the opposite. So do you see how this two-thirds here is on the outside, not inside the x group? It's the very first thing I want to get rid of. And I can always get rid of something by doing the opposite. Now you might ask yourself, what is that two-thirds doing? Well, that two-thirds is multiplying with this whole group. So if I wanted to, I could get rid of it by doing the opposite. I could divide the whole group by two-thirds. Now a lot of you mathies are mad at me right now. That's not how I do it. That's okay. I know there's other ways. Just want to show you guys that if we can always follow that principle of uh, getting rid of things by doing the opposite. So I'm going to divide both sides here by two-thirds because I'm allowed to do whatever I want as long as I uh, um, do it to both sides. So let's see what happens. On this side, multiplying and dividing by two-thirds are opposites. They would cancel. And all I would have left is that grouping uh, of 12x minus 9. Now on this side, you're like, I don't know what 18 divided by two-thirds is. No, but your calculator does. 18 divided by, and I want to put in two-thirds, which is a fraction. So I'll type the N over D button. So I typed 18, and then divided by, and then I typed N over D so that I could insert a 2 here and a 3 there. And by the way, if you're having trouble typing this in, it might be because you're not in math print mode. Fractions work best in math print mode in our TI calculator. So to make sure your calculator is in math print mode, you just hit uh, mode, arrow over the word math print, and press enter to select. Then you can clear out of the screen. And now it'll definitely work for you to type 18 divided by, hit N over D, put a 2 on the top, a 3 on the bottom, and hit Enter. And you do find out that 18 divided by 2 thirds, even if you're bad at fractions, is 27. Okay, now it's I got rid of my fraction problem, so uh, simple enough now to use my opposites here to get rid of this 9 and this 12. I'll add 9 to both sides. And again, I chose that because when I'm solving, I work the order of operations backwards. And on this side, subtracting 9 and adding 9 would cancel. I'll be left with 12x on the left-hand side. And on this side, 27 plus 9 is equal to 36. I'm almost done, but x is not alone. i got to get rid of this 12 multiplier, so I'll divide. And again, I have to do it to both sides since it's a change I chose to make. I'm multiplying and dividing by 12 are opposites, they cancel, and I get x is equal to 3. Wonderful. And that is my answer. I'm done. The x is alone. Uh, for this equation to have to be true, x would have to be 3. All right, if you have any questions about this or any other GED math topic, be sure to drop it in the comments, and I'll do my best to answer it.